say that to her. Our, our business no, that's won't be very long. Uh, so, there she is. Okay. So first thing to talk about is payroll. Uh, just a reminder that the timesheet is on Google Drive. Be sure you're using that one and not a different form of it. And that it's due by 9 a.m. this morning. Um, if you're off shift before that, try to get it in early, just because it gives me more time to get it done. Um, in regards to transfers, um, there's been some confusion on pay for transfers. So a local transfer is any inner facility that's 20 <coughs> to 55 miles, and anything over 55 miles is considered long distance. Um, that's all I have for payroll. Next thing on the list is meeting makeups. If you have to make up a meeting, meeting contact Damien, and he will send you the link of the recorded video of the meeting with a quiz and whatever else you need to do to make that up. Are you sending that information out to everybody for the people who aren't here, they know how to do that? They will need to contact me. But how do they know that? Are you sending something out telling them? Are you gonna I shoot something out? I will out a work message. Okay. And, you know, the people that need to hear this are aren't this here. Meeting. Exactly, yeah. that's what I'm getting at, I'm sorry. I, they also usually don't look at their email though either. Well, right, because <laughs> they're the ones that are still filling the wrong timesheets. Can only hold hands for so long. Right. Welfare checks. I like that. Now we'll start the round table. I'll just go ahead with me. As far as QA, QI goes, it's been going pretty good. Just remember to sign your reports. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Whoever else wants to go next can go. Lenny, you want to go next? Our representative from Theta is Jason Swilitska. If anybody knows him, really nice guy. He's going to be a good advocate for us. I actually have a meeting with him this Thursday. And the ad hoc committee for going countywide has finally come into being. I believe our first meeting will be April 1st. April Fool's Day, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> right now I'm thinking that's when okay. the first meeting is that's gonna be. That's gonna be a good omen. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fingers it's crossed. a start. It is, absolutely. And with regard to the payroll, this last one was probably the roughest one I've had in six months. I don't know why. It, I started at 5.30 in the morning and I finally submitted it at 2 in the afternoon and I never took a break. It was horrible. Horrible. I actually got some time cards and I have no idea where the hell they came from. I, I got two time cards I never saw in my life, I swear to you. And there's no way I can fix them. I literally had to make new ones to make them work. And I screwed up a few here and there, and I, you know, I, I, I understand that, and I'll make right on all of them. Or I send them to you in Mac format, so you can't open them. <laughs> well, there is that too. Like that. But there is, there is a timesheet on Google Drive. If you can't get to it, let me know, and I will email it to you, so that you have it. The one that's on Google Drive, don't make any changes to it. Download it first and then make your changes to it because if you make a change to it on Google Drive, it stays there. So what I'm saying is if you're having any troubles with it at all, let me know. Give me an email and I will personally send one to you. The one that's out there actually has my name on it because now with this last audit that came through, and there must have been about 400 of them that I had to go back and sign my name to because I'm supposed to sign every one of them time cards. And I knew I was supposed to sign the managers. I didn't know I was supposed to sign yours. So now it's out there and it's actually got my signature already on it. That's the one I'd really like you to use. So we need to download it. Now we get another one. It would be nice, but again, <laughs> if you're having trouble with it because I understand those frustrations, I can't get to the goddamn thing myself. Well, at least we're not alone. <laughs> well, like really I hate that freaking Google Drive more than anybody in this room. Uh, probably not. 
send me an email and I will personally send that to you so that you have it. And yes, if you have no hours after today, and if you don't have any more hours until the next payroll, send it to me now so I can start working on it. That would be fantastic. I would really enjoy that. Um, if you have any questions about the transfers or the distance or if you're going to take a transfer somewhere and you want to know what it is, send me an email. I will let you know right away if it's a 911 call or a local transfer or whatever it is. But I, I can't pay you a local transfer if you pick somebody up in the ER and take them to Juliet Manor. I just can't justify that. And they're still coming through with those kinds of calls. So if you have any questions about payroll, send them to me right away. Because I'm starting to hate payroll. I'm starting to hate it bad enough that I'm actually considering chucking this job and saying goodbye to the whole damn thing. Hmm, this is a horrible idea. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Guess what, Lenny? Who, your biggest who do you have sitting next knowing. to you to figure this out? Hmm? Who's sitting next to you to learn how to do this? I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> there may be some of us that are stupid enough to offer. <laughs> yes, there have been some that have offered. And right at the moment, I'm trying to just drink enough brandy to get through it. <laughs> but it's, and in the meantime, I've got the city. This, this time around, the city called me twice and emailed me three times wondering where it was before I finally sent it to them. It could be a problem. So if you have any questions about it, send it to me. If you want that, you want that downloaded form and you want it easy, send me an email, I'll send it right back to you. That Google Drive is, is a great place, but Google and me aren't on speaking terms. <laughs> and I know it's I know it's an easy site, I know it's these guys are ready to kill me because I lambasted so bad, but I just can't get my head around the damn thing. Yeah, you're not alone. So if you have I trouble, it. send it to me and I'll send you the, the form myself. But it, it will be an Excel document. Okay? What do I got? You want me to handle the ambulances or do you want to? I can do it right now. So as some of you know, <laughs> we have not had a good week. <laughs> and we have many ambulances at a repair shop. Uh, multiple repair shops actually because we've uh, exhausted mechanics and so we are spreading our work out as of right now. Uh, we are hoping to get 91 back tomorrow. The parts are on their way. 92 is going to be a, a, a problem child for a little while and 79 is a may or may not work. We're going to try running it tonight again and see what happens. Um, we are we have told all of our mechanics that we are in desperate need and that we need them back ASAP. And so and we are overnighting parts. We're doing everything we possibly can. Um, Saturday, I spent most of my day looking for loaner ambulances. Turns out nobody does loaner ambulances because apparently they used to have them <coughs> and nobody used them. And of course, now we need one and nobody has one. Um, I did was able to source one out of Illinois. The only problem with that is that in order to get it, they have blue lights on them. So I had to get it to a shop and get the blue lights change to red lights and then you get, get it up here. Uh, with that being said, um, there, Sun Valley is telling me that 91 will be done tomorrow, so I'm holding off on that and then that 91 will be hopefully back in service and then 92 uh, may be down for a couple weeks as of right now. So, and 79 is a working problem that we are working on. Um, 90 knock on wood is running. Um, that is our main ambulance as of right now. Uh, and in May, we have a new one coming, so hopefully something can happen. Have we let area and other departments know that we're, just in case they get called, uh, so they're Mark not Zan, thinking we're short on staff? Mark Zan knows that. Mark Zan has staffed an extra ambulance for the rest of the They have Wednesday. staffed their pack of ambulance through Wednesday to try to help us out. Okay. No, they can't do that 24-7 for us. Right. Right. I just so want to make sure that they do know other that people and, are and prepared. We get a call in Princeton right now, and we're out, and that, that'll be the one that's coming from there. And Washera's staff is normal, so okay. they're a full-time department, and, and Mark 
and Marquette is staffed as a full time department. So okay. uh, we have that. We have not, knock on wood, had to use mutually. We have been lucky enough that one call comes in and then it waits until we're cleared up and we're doing that right now. But it is a problem and we are trying to get our ambulances back and we are putting a suite. We are doing everything we possibly can to tell our mechanics that whatever we can do, we need it. We didn't know. We need at least, I need one more ambulance up and running. So um, saying that, I'm also telling them that they can't do patchwork because I can't trust a, a patchwork running down the road and, and something falling off or something else. So, um, other than that, update um, okay, on new ambulance? It'll be here early to mid May. Okay, we'll get to So, huh? Who will be getting the new ambulance? Uh, as of, I believe it's coming here. It should be coming here. Right now, I don't know. I don't. I, if it shows up, I would just be happy to have another one. It, de so. it really depends when it gets here. It depends on what the status of the rest of the fleet is. <laughs> right. As to what it's replacing. Yeah. Right. So, we're, we're, we're yeah. Um, okay. I'm sure it'll be a by the numbers game. You know, they'll, it'll be a, who, who has the majority of the calls and who needs it the worst. And if oh, 90's, if 90's running good, it'll probably come here. If it's not, uh, or if there's something else wrong, it'll, it'll go to Berlin. I, I, I would hope right now it comes here, but I'm not positive on that. Right. It's still going to depend on what these other three costs to get them fixed and what the status is of their repairs when it does get here. Gotcha. We're looking at, basically we're looking at possibly two ambulances and two more swaps at this point in time. So that's where we're sitting. So the the one that motor that got swapped in has been burning a gallon of oil since we got it a week. That's so, 79? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, along with some electrical issues that have popped up since the new motor has been in. Um, and that was a new motor? Uh, it was a, a, as far as I know, it was a rebuild. Uh, it's, that's a problem we are working on. Um, it is a warranty, so at least it's not going to cost us anything again, hopefully. Um, but it's still an issue that we don't have time to fix and that we need it now. Uh, 92 went down on Saturday. Saturday. Um, Josh was driving. And <laughs> <laughs> that, that lost compression. Apparently, our uh, Sun Valley says we have no compression in cylinder one, cylinder two. So. Um, and the rains of pores. We're working, mm -hmm. working through it. Mm -hmm. um, it's because so we bought a monitor. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, they have money. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, our, our budget is, is, is long gone. <laughs> So, um, other than that, I have met with Jason, and Josh has also met with Jason from Theta Care. Um, I, uh, me and Josh have known Jason about as long as I know money. So, um, he, if you guys don't know him, he has his hand in a lot of things. He's, uh, he's on the, the children's board, uh, RTAC boards, on the state board. He works at Theta. He works on Clintonville. He works at Shawano. He works at Gold Cross. He, well, he says he works there. He doesn't really do a whole lot. He's, he's pretty spread out. But um, he, he is more on the EMS side of things than on a hospital <coughs> side of things. So um, I think that's a good thing. I think he's going to help us out a lot more than what, I don't know. I guess I think he's going he's gonna to be more on our side than, than looking at um, where we can cut costs. He's gonna, I think he's more of, we need this money to do this, or we need, you guys are lacking here, and we need to figure out a way to fund this. So, and that's going to be a state of care at the city of Berlin thing or county-wide thing, depending on if and when that ever figures out, and maybe that'll also be in study at this point in time, so. Um, and he's been around a, a long time. He's, he's got a lot of years of service. <coughs> Age-wise, I still got him, but number-wise, his number is actually smaller than mine. So you can say that he's a bigger dinosaur than I am. Mine is 1797, I think his is 1740-something. <laughs> But I like Jason. Jason, when they said that that was who was going to do it, I was glad. Yeah, Jason will be a good advocate. For us. So, you can go. I don't know if I have anything. Everything's broke. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Need salt? Let me know. Hopefully, we don't, and we can be done with that stuff too. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of smell. As soon as someone gets back to stock. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, we'll need hip waders. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to install a couple snorkels on the ambulances while we're at Um, no, I don't, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Oh, uh, there's a lot of, um, going off the warm weather, hopefully, um, 
more events are going to be starting to pop up. So just keep an eye out on when to work at the bottom for special events to staff ambulances. Um, Berlin's already got a 5K in April, right, with April at some point. So just keep an eye out on when to work at the bottom of the bottom of the roster. Just look out for those special events if you're able to help. That would be obviously greatly appreciated. We want our faces in the community as much as we can. So hopefully as it warms up, we'll be a little more out in the public. So that's all I can say. All right. Um, so I posted our numbers again on the page if anybody is curious. We ran a, as a whole a total of 108 calls. Berlin had 56, Green Lake had 31, uh, Princeton had 17, and Med 1 ran four intercepts. And those are just per area, not necessarily what ambulance to put. Um, again, as far as events, in June, on the 23rd, Berlin Conservation Club, or actually it's a Ducks Unlimited event, is that the Berlin Conservation Club. They're looking to have an ambulance from noon to five just to do presentations to the kids, first aid, uh, splinting, tourniquets, stuff like that. CPR that mannequins. I'm serious. Yeah. <coughs> um, so that is Take already them. on the schedule. That can be anybody. If you just need two people to sign up for that. And then again, like uh, Heather said, April 28th, from 10 to 1, we'll, Berlin PD wants us to stand by for a 5K. So that would be on the schedule too. Other than that, that's about it. And those don't have to be paramedics, EMT, or specific types of crews. It can be two EMTs. It doesn't have to be anyone. Whoever wants to do it. Yeah, whoever is willing or wants to do it. So. We'll try to have them. I was just going to say, we can push yeah. one in. Yeah. Let's get it there push the it. night before when there's no people around. <laughs> yeah. 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 Roads closed. Yeah. Roads closed. Yeah. 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 Run to yeah. At this point in time, I, I, I threw it out there that I was going to buy a Chevy tow truck and just hook the Chevy tow truck up to the can't trust Ford right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. <laughs> so, All right. So my turn, huh? I have a couple things. Oxygen tanks. I sent out a one to work message last week. Somehow, you know, I filled probably 10 of the smaller ones that we carry in our bag. Eight of those were completely drained. Or most of them were left completely open. Technically, we're supposed to send those in now, get repressure tested and everything. So that gets pretty expensive. So I don't know if somebody told somebody to leave them open when they're done, but please stop doing that. The other night, Ann and I ran a call in you know, it was <laughs> it was one of the pucker factor calls. So yes, the oxygen <laughs> bottle ran out. I'm totally fine with that. You know, one or two, that's okay. But eight out of the ten is we're using a lot of oxygen. That you know, if you leave 500 500 psi in there, that's quite a bit of oxygen that's still in the bottle. That you know, you don't have to fill dead air. You know, so you're please. talking the little portables, right? So are we? Are we using those for the whole call instead of changing them over no. to the big tanks? No. Is that you why they're running still out? Be changing them no, no, I'm saying is that why they're running out? Are people leaving uh, them? So when I go to fill them, you know, I, I go around and pick them up. When I go to fill them, it, it, the top valve is left open. So okay, I don't know if somebody's taking the regulator off and just cleaning them off for some reason or gotcha. if somebody's bumping them. I, I'm not sure. I know we don't hear or necessarily, I, I don't hear. I can't talk for anybody else. So. Please police that a little better. Take them out of service at 500 psi. If they're at 650, take them out. You know, if they're close, take them out. If they're not a big stick to wear at it. If I crack it open and it's at 900, I'm like, oh, that one doesn't even very much. So it's it's fine. The plastic things they use to reseal the bottles are cheap as heck. So I'll put them on all day long. Please. Um, if I sent you an email about stuff that you need in your personnel file, please send that to me. I've sent out a lot of emails so um, now you know with everything getting looked at I'd really like to be mm -hmm. up to date instead of having EMT and EMT mm -hmm. licenses from 2008-2010 I'd really like to update these and get them current so sorry to kind of nag on you guys but I can't track everybody down personally so please respond to my emails if you're getting them if you're not getting if you didn't get an email that means I have your email wrong. So I sent you a congratulations, your employee file is complete for the next two years email, or I sent you an email with what you need. So 
I'll be resetting those out most likely Wednesday again. So, um, other than that, if you know of anybody that needs CPR, let me know. But, yeah. Anything else from the board? Do you believe I have nothing? Oh my gosh. Are you sure? Think hard. Is there anything? It's the food. Is there any way we can get those pictures from <coughs> the event? Yeah, know? we can throw those up on Facebook. We can put those yeah. on there. Yeah. Um, I know the auxiliary and the fire department shared them, but I have probably, a, I don't know if I have them on my phone. I can get them to you. Uh, get them back. We're gonna, we're gonna, we got a picture taken with the tooth. Yes. <laughs> and who, who fell as she got up to the parking lot and burst her tooth? Who did what? She okay. fell in the parking lot because she wouldn't take the tooth off in front of the kids. <laughs> Nano did? Yes. Well, she was terrifying. Some of the kids. Know. <laughs> they thought she was a ghost. They thought she was a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> These kids are walking in, they're like, a ghost! And they're like, little, and they're the mom's like, it's a tooth. It's just a tooth. <laughs> it's a tooth. <laughs> they were just freaking out. It was so cute. It was great. Yeah. That other cot is fixed. All our cots are working again. Oh, yes. So. Not only do I just have a quick question. How long does it take to send out the CPR cards for, um, like, from the... So our, so CPR, um, what we have to do is we get the paperwork. Mm -hmm. We scan some paperwork. We have to drive over to Ripon. We drop paperwork off, and that gets inter interdependently inter mailed over to Melissa. Nice. Melissa nice. gets sent paperwork, send gives us cards. We email cards out. Okay, so, so like a week or two or something? Depends on how long Melissa Okay. Two to four days. Yeah. Okay. We usually so get paperwork class the next day. Someone just came up and asked me today, like, how long, like, when should we, we be looking for I know the, the email? And I was like, next week? I don't the know. The classes that I did the paperwork on, every card's been issued. Yep, and the class, the first class that I did, or the class I was there with you guys, those cards have been issued. So this very last class, the lady was, was asking me. Oh, okay. okay. And that one, the cards I just got from Melissa. Okay. Yeah, because okay. I, yeah, I sent that paperwork on Friday. So except for the last class, all of them have been okay. issued. Uh, she's the only one that asked me, and I was I like, had one oh, email problem I don't already. know yeah. how long it takes. No, I never asked. They should have it's it within something. the next day. I think it's like, as soon as I send it, it's only like, they it's almost it instantaneous. Yeah. So okay. they should yeah, have yeah. it as, in soon the as, as soon as you send it out, that, that's right. emailed directly. Okay, then. I'll let her. So. I see if I have it. Sweet. Okay, that's all I have. Right. Food? Please. Okay. Uh, just so you know, the food was donated, given to you guys. Our auxiliary had a lefto leftovers from their bread fry this, uh, yesterday. So, um, desserts, feel free to open them up. They're, you don't have to pay for them. That's just what we were selling them <laughs> at. They're, just help yourself if you can't eat a whole one. Please divide them up. That's all I brought. And then there's chili and uh, burgers and brats. So, I think we may be like one bun short on a burger or a brat, but... Well, Guaranteed somebody should here should be watching their carbs and not eating their sandwich on the run. That's true. I don't know what I did.